A lot of people do not really feel like wireless technology is any problem at all. But I can present to you case after case after case of malignant glioblastoma, lymphoma, metastatic carcinoma. They don't feel any effects of it. All they see is the upside. If we knew that a cell phone tower is going to be installed in a given location, it would be very nice to do studies before it is installed and then study patients again after they have been exposed to cell phone towers. When you look at the data and you look what's happening with infertility, cancer, DNA damage, I mean, it's, we've got to do something for our, our future generations. And just seeing these young people that we're seeing already. If you interview these patients and you talk to them, they'll tell you about cell phone use next to their head. The problem is that physicians are not trained to uh, ask these questions. We need to listen to the scientists. We need to believe the scientists that are doing the EMR research. Most physicians are not really familiar with brain scanning and the brain scans we do are functional brain scans. The controversy intrigued me because whenever there's scientific controversy, it tells me that scientists haven't figured things out and it means we can learn something. Wireless radiation isn't benign. It's a blessing and it's also a curse. We are under the illusion that wireless radiation is safe because we can purchase it. The signals that are used by 5G are essentially beam formed, which means they are aimed at the particular user. And in my opinion, this irregularity in exposure is a physiological stress that has grave consequences, such as endocrine disruption, over time, this harm can accumulate. It's very similar to chemical toxins. Just knowing what is emitting what frequencies and how that's affecting people is critical for doctors. If they're not aware of this environmental pollutant and the consequences of this environmental pollutant, they're going to misdiagnose their patients. Dr. Ray said to me, this is your generation's tobacco. You're, he told me this 10 years ago, and I think he's right. 